victory or defeat can be determined in a single moment's misstep. Hello and welcome to One Piece 101, the series that breaks down everyone and everything in the One Piece world. Today we're looking into another Marine Admiral, the easygoing yet terrifying Kizaru. As one of the three Admirals, Kizaru represents the epitome of strength in the Marine organization. As with all Admirals, he is granted the epithet of a color and an animal to replace his real name, which is Borsalino. In this case, Kizaru literally translates to Yellow Monkey, and this epithet seems to have inspired his style. Or perhaps it's the other way around. While we know absolutely nothing about Kizaru's childhood, we do have a single drawing depicting him in a yellow striped hat, referencing his future suit. As a child, he appears quite joyful and content, and this nature appears to be consistent throughout the bits and pieces of his history that the readers are privy to. In fact, it really is his defining character trait. If there's one perfect word to describe this particular Marine Admiral, it would be mellow. It doesn't matter what the situation is, Kizaru does not stress or show any kind of concern whatsoever. Instead, he appears almost completely absent-minded and off in his own world. But that shouldn't be mistaken for apathy towards his duties. This guy isn't an admiral for nothing. While his demeanor appears absent-minded, his actions portray a dedicated and merciless attention to detail. There are a few characters in One Piece who would be more terrifying if they were ordered to pursue you. And this terror is infinitely enhanced when we delve into his devil fruit. Kizaru ate the Pika Pika no Mi, Pika Pika being the Japanese onomatopoeia for glimmering light. This is a Logia fruit that gives the user the ability to conjure, manipulate, and become light. This fruit is exceptionally versatile and allows the user to shoot physically damaging beams of light, blind opponents, construct weapons of light, and most ridiculously, it allows the user to move at the speed of light. I'll say that again, the speed of light. So while One Piece certainly isn't scientifically accurate, and I doubt Kizaru can actually move that fast, this movement is still by far the fastest we've seen in the series so far. Furthermore, he can use this momentum to physically hit people with the force of light speed, dealing devastating damage. This movement can be countered, but only by advanced users of observation hockey, such as Silver's Rayleigh. The main problem with Kizaru's movement is that he can only move in straight lines, much like how light waves travel and bounce. This means that once a course is plotted, Kizaru can't simply duck to the side or anything like that. To make full, effective use of this fruit requires very precise planning, something that Kizaru seems to have mastered. And this mastery may actually lead to another potential weakness of Kizaru. In film Z, it was stated by his old master Zephyr that Kizaru relies entirely too much on his devil fruit powers. While this film isn't canon, it's a good point. Kizaru in combat is heavily reliant on the Pika Pika no Mi, much more so than other Devil Fruit users at his level. In terms of Haki, it is confirmed that he can use Armament Haki, but neither of the other two have been shown. I think it's very likely that he can also use Observation Haki, and that's how he's able to make the best use of his powers. However, I think it's very unlikely that he has Conqueror's Haki. In regards to Kizaru's motivations or dreams, we know absolutely nothing about the man. Unlike someone such as Akainu, who has a drive for absolute justice, Kizaru doesn't appear to have any real reason for existing in the position that he does. Oda has even stated that his own particular brand of justice is unclear justice. So I'm sure there's a story behind this intriguing character, but it has yet to be revealed. Some more fun facts about Kizaru. As with all of the admirals so far, Kizaru's design is based heavily on a Japanese actor. In this case, Kunie Tanaka was used to inspire the design and personality of the Marine Admiral. Furthermore, Kizaru's birthday is the 23rd of November, the same as Kunie Tanaka. When he was first mentioned by Nico Robin, Kizaru's silhouette was shown wearing a hat. However, when he was formally introduced, it turned out he didn't wear a hat. In a later flashback, a younger Kizaru appears wearing a hat, possibly as a nod to the original design. And speaking of, Kizaru's real name, Borsellino, is a reference to the real-life Italian hat manufacturer, Borsellino. Kizaru has a brief history with an early One Piece villain, Arlong. When he was a Vice Admiral, Kizaru crossed paths with the Fishman Pirate and effortlessly defeated him. After the time skip, Kizaru is the only one of the original three admirals to remain in his position. In true One Piece style, Kizaru's devil fruit power contrasts sharply with his personality. He is a very slow talker and thinker, yet he is able to move at light speed. And finally, a truly useless fact, Kizaru's preferred method of travel is via cannonball. 
And that about does it for the calm and collected Kizaru. If you enjoyed this video, then please feel free to like, favorite, or subscribe, and comment with who, what, or where you'd like to see featured in the next One Piece 101.